Now to another story breaking this evening. The Director of Public Prosecutions has now ordered the arrest of Kiambu Governor Ferdinand Waititu. Waititu is alleged to have irregularly awarded several road tenders worth 588 million shillings. The DPP says Waititu, his wife Susan Wangari and 11 others flouted several laws with these tenders and should be arrested and prosecuted right away. The directive comes on the back of chilling warnings from both both the DPP and DCI George Kinoti. Chemutai Goin reports. Waititu has been at the crosshairs of investigators for months. Just last month, the governor was grilled for hours at the ESCC headquarters over the same contracts. Now, DPP Nurdin Haji says the file is ready and before him and is convinced the governor and his associates committed at least eight offences, including abuse of office, conflict of interest, money laundering, fraud and various procurement-related offences. The DPP says the governor awarded the contracts for the construction of various gravel roads in the county to a company known as Testimony Enterprise Limited, whose directors, the file says, are the governor's close associates. So far, according to the DPP, a total of 147 million shillings have been irregularly paid to this company. Also on the DPP's wanted list is Waititu's wife, Susan Wangarindungu, Chief Officer Roads Engineer Lucas Wahinya, two directors of Testimony Enterprises, Beth Mburu and Charles Chege, as well as five members of the county's evaluation committee. I am welcoming any special audit that you might prefer to Kiambu County. The governor has now been given up to Sunday to surrender himself or face arrest. <laughs> But Governor Waititu faces one more uncertainty. The development camp just days after High Court Judge Justice Mombingogi ruled that state officers charged in court should step aside from their offices. Jogeo, Citizen TV. That report is by Joe Ageo and not Chemutai going as earlier. Reported and the order on Governor Waititu comes just hours after the DPP and DCI Director George Kinoti warned of more corruption related arrests. Kinoti says he has been receiving calls asking him to stop the crackdown. But as Chemutai Goin now reports, the DCI boss insists there is no turning back. If you have dipped your hand in the cookie jar, Director of Criminal Investigations George Kinoti is coming for you. People might it's, may actually may as well start I mean, preparing themselves because more or less are going to, 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 to be forthcoming. In an interview with Reuters, Kinoti claims he has been receiving calls from unnamed people asking him to stop the arrests. You can't call me and stop me. You can't stop me. Yeah, you can't. Kinoti and Director of Public Prosecutions Nodin Haji have over the past few weeks been hitting the headlines with many high-profile individuals arrested and arraigned, including most recently Treasury Cabinet Secretary Henry Rotich, P.S. Kamau Thuge, among others. It's the first uh, DPP, I can say, mm -hmm. who is a polished feed officer. Mm -hmm. He was an investigator mm -hmm. in as much as he was in the intelligence. Mm -hmm. He was an operational man. Mm -hmm. This guy has commanded in good operations, which even we did together. Uh, and I think the president also has picked individuals who he believes can work together. Um, if you look at the, the, the inspector general, he's a colleague of mine. Um, the ESCC director was a former colleague. Um, and we are able to sit down and agree. Kinoti and Nodin saying they have since resolved the sibling rivalry that had frustrated the war against Graft. It was all on paper that um, um, prosecutors can guide investigations. That never happened. Uh, but since you know, me and me, me and Kinoti came into office, that has changed. Um, since Mbarak came in, the ESCC, that has changed. Now we have teams um, of prosecutors and investigators working together. Now the reason we say we are rejuvenated, we have been renewed, and more or less is a renaissance as far as. The DCI is concerned because now the DPP is part and parcel of us. 
Chief Justice David Maraga revealed that Faroda House had been renovated to house a specialized anti-corruption court to accommodate more judges to handle the cases. I have given instructions that all these corruption cases, when, the, when a hearing starts, it will be had today, tomorrow, continuously, until they are finished. He at the same time defended the judiciary against allegations it was the weak link in the corruption purge, calling for patience. You know, if we send somebody to prison who has not been hurt, that is already a miscarriage of justice. Chemutai go in Citizen TV, Nairobi.